Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we're going to compare numbers up to 100,000. The first thing we're going to do is write the symbols for which is smaller and which is larger. We're going to do this in yellow. This symbol means smaller than. This one is equals to and that is larger than. Just remember the arrow points to the smaller number. Okay, let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have these two numbers. Okay, so we've got two sets of numbers. What's the first thing you have to check is how many digits they have. We're going to label them. You don't have to, but we're going to label them. We've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. And the right-hand side, we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Both numbers have five digits. How do we compare them? Well, let's go through this slowly and gradually. We'll start with the ten thousands. Okay. We've got three here on the left. We're going to compare it with the ten thousand over here. What do you notice? They are exactly the same. So the ten thousands do not tell us which is larger and which is smaller. Okay, we're now going to move to the thousands. Compare those two. Again, they are the same. The thousands are four on the left and four on the right. Just remember, when you're comparing numbers, start on the left-hand side and gradually work your way across. Unless the numbers are identical, we will soon come to a number, a digit that is different. Okay, we're now going to do the hundreds. So we've got seven hundreds here. Let's move that across and check it here. Ah, there we go. We've got seven hundreds on the left. We've got six hundreds on the right. So the hundreds, in fact I'm just going to circle all of it, tell us which number is larger and which is smaller. Which one is smaller? Is it seven or six? Six is smaller. So the arrow points to six. Now it does not matter what these two numbers are because we start on the left hand side. The ten thousands were the same, the thousands were the same, but the hundreds were different. And that is how we worked out the smaller number and the larger number. Okay, we're now going to move to our second example. There's our first number. And there's our second number. Now what you notice, the first thing is, both numbers have five digits. We're not going to label them this time. We're just going to go ahead and work through which is larger and which is smaller. Again, we start on the left-hand side. We've got eight, the ten thousands, and we've got eight ten thousands over here. So they are exactly the same. We then move on to the next one, which is the thousands. We've got seven thousands on the left, and the seven thousands on the right. Okay, they're the same, so we keep going. The hundreds, we've got six hundreds here. We take it across to the number on the right, and we've got six hundreds here. So they are the same. We still haven't worked out which is larger and which is smaller. How about the tens? We've got three tens here, and we've got five tens here. We have worked out which digit is going to tell us which is larger and which is smaller. It's the tens. We've got three tens here and five tens here. So which is smaller? Is it three or five? It's a nice easy one. It's three. Therefore, the number on the left is smaller than the number on the right. And that was because of the tens. Okay, we're going to work through one final example.
There we go. We've got our two numbers. Now what is the first thing you notice? What's the first thing that should jump straight out at you? Have you figured it out? Well, look at this on the left-hand side. There are four digits here. Okay, one, two, three, four. How about on the right? Well, here we've got one, two, three, four, five digits. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so you can see this. So we've got four digits on the left, five digits on the right. Which, which number is smaller? It's the one with the fewest digits. That's it. We don't even have to look at what the numbers say. If there are four digits on the left, that is, that is going to be smaller than a five-digit number. And that, is, and that is how we compare numbers up to 100,000. Very methodically, start on the left-hand side. First, check how many digits there are. Start on the left-hand side and gradually work your way across.